Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I'm taking a look at a significant cut to the maximum lifespan of TLS certificates. Let's jump into it. All right, before we get into the news, for those that have never dealt with TLS certificates, you should know that there are certificate issuers that administrators of internet domains use to acquire a certificate that enables trustworthy encrypted communication over the internet. This infrastructure is what allows for the S in HTTPS that you regularly hear about. There's a whole ton of detail that goes into how all this works. I'm gonna assume that most people in this audience that clicked on this video understand this already, so I'm not going to explain it here. So back to the news. Here I have an article from The Register reporting that the Certification Authority Browser Forum has voted to reduce the maximum lifespan of TLS certificates to just 47 days by March of 2029. Apparently there was a vote by the cartel over the weekend and the measure passed by a vote of 25 to zero. So now over the course of the next three years, certificate issuers are going to be reducing the maximum lifespan they will issue a certificate for, which means a whole lot of work for administrators of environments where certificate renewal isn't automated. So I hope you like renewing certificates regularly and paying more frequently to get them because this sounds like a done deal. Now to be fair, Let's Encrypt has been giving out certificates for free for a long time. I've used that service before and it was a great experience, but every environment is different and not every organization has the ability to be updating their certificates that frequently. For a ton of people, this is gonna be a significant cost. And how long is the maximum gonna be 47 days? In five years, are we gonna have a maximum of seven days? How long until we get to a maximum of 24 hours? When does this end and what is the point? Some will say it's a ploy to get more fees for certificate authorities. Maybe that's the truth. I don't know. It seems that Apple has been pushing for this and they don't sell certificates as far as I know. So I'm really not sure why they are in favor of it. Regardless, the vote of 25 to zero seems to indicate to me that this is definitely happening. So if you're a system administrator, you should probably start planning for an automated renewal strategy very soon. But with that, I'll leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.